In this tutorial for Team Yankee, I'm going to talk about how you decide which template size you are going to use and your aiming point. So again, going through our sequence here on page 51 about artillery, we picked our spotting team, we checked our range, now we're going to select a template size and select an aiming point. So how do you know which template size to use? Well, that's where you go to your unit cards and you look under rate of fire, and this one says artillery, this one says salvo, and this one says salvo. Now what you do is uh, you get your template here, and if it says artillery, it's the smaller inside one, which is six by six. That's what you would use. If you're going to salvo, it's the larger one out here, and that's a 10 by 10. So that's how you know which size template to use. So now you need to pick your aiming point. And we kind of already talked about, you know, you need your spotter, line of sight and everything. So what we've got out here is, we'll just throw some Abrams out here. Kind of like, that's our situation. And they want to pick a spot out here that they're going to get most of the tanks. And so the Carnations use the smaller one. So where do you want the center of this to be? And it can be on top of one of these, or it could just be here. As long as your observer follows those rules, and I've already gone over the video how your observer can't have moved, has to have line of sight, and all that. So what you do is you can put the template down and move it around to where you want. But you also the flat part here facing towards the artillery has to turn towards them, towards the center. So if these guys were down here, you would have to rotate it. And this is like the center. I'm going to move these up so everybody can see them. There we go. Like this is the center one. You'd have to rotate it. And this is how it's going to be. If they're up here, this is going to rotate that way. So when you pick your aiming point, you can put it down and make sure you're towards the center of the units shooting the artillery. So if it's an even number, this is about the middle. Just guesstimate the best you can. So if this is where they're going, I'm gonna, gonna go about right there and I'll be able to get three. Just a part of them has to be under, I wouldn't count the gun barrel, I would call, count the hull. So I've got three, so I would want that to be my aiming point. And that's pretty much what you do. When you select your aiming point, you can go, um, well, do you know what? Um, I'm going to get more here, so I want that to be my aiming point. That's pretty much how easy that is. Now, there is something you're going to have to watch, and that's called danger close. If you are shooting this artillery template, and let's say we got some allies out here. So I'm going to get these where we can see them. Okay, here we go. So we got these T-72s that's sneaking up behind here, and they're hoping maybe the artillery can take them out and they can go shoot something else. The problem you have is if any ally is within four inches of this, under it, or within four inches, you can't do that aiming point. They're within four inches, it's too close, they're worried about hitting their own allies. So we would have to scoot this forward if we can. There we go. Now we're clear. Now we're legal. Aiming point's gone there. And that, that's pretty much with danger close. That includes if they are aircraft. You have to count them as allies. Are they within four inches of this? Now, if you're doing a salvo, it's within six inches. So if this was somehow, we'll just say the aircraft here, these are doing um, a salvo. We're going to have to rotate it towards the center of them. No ally can be within six inches. Not four. This is four. This is six. So uh, they can't do it. Oh, these guys are here. Can't do it there. So they can't even do that template. So be careful with the danger close. 
the exception to the rule being danger close is aircraft. And I'm going to explain what that means. So let me get these guys out of the way. And we're just going to pretend that this is like an A-10 Warthog. So if you look at the A-10 Warthog, it can do a salvo at six inches. Okay, so the most a range marker can be away from it is six inches. So it's going to range in here. We're going to take these guys out and we're going to pretend like they're shooting these guys here. Well, if we put down the salvo template, he's within six inches of this. Strike aircraft, or actually helicopters too, aircraft are immune to the rule of danger close if they are the one shooting. So if this shoots that in the hinds here, it's too close. That's danger close. It's okay, because it's the one shooting this. This is not okay. So danger close does have some limitations, but aircraft is immune to it if they're the one doing the shooting. 